Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzzi, and this is Ask Dr. T. Today's question is, how do I help my aging skin? Well, we're going to talk about cosmeceuticals a little bit. And that catch term, cosmeceuticals, came from a combination of two other words, cosmetics and basically drugs. Where cosmetics are not supposed to have any biologically active components in it and are just made, you know, and aren't supposed to be by prescription. Whereas drugs are supposed to have some specific uh, action that, they, that occurs and it has an active component is, in it, and usually it's by prescription. Um, so cosmeceuticals uh, came about, the word came about, by combining the two of these together. And you can, there's two ways you can get cosmeceuticals, if you will. You can either spend a lot of money and go to one of the high-end department stores like Nordstrom's or Saks and pay anywhere from $100 to $300 for a small sample. Or you can get, by prescription only, cosmeceuticals uh, from a physician who knows how to write prescriptions. And they're formulated by compounding pharmacies that are local to the area. So... Again, we're just talking about, as far as pricing goes, too, just, just so you know, um, if you're getting these cosmeceuticals from a compounding pharmacy, the benefits are that one price, because it's, the average price is around $49 for a two-month supply. And the other advantage is that your physician can put the, uh, a, a normal amount of the active components into these different uh, prescriptions. For example, when you go to a department store and buy these different items, if you look on the labels, it doesn't really tell you the percentage of how much is in each product that you buy. It'll list the different components, but it doesn't say how much. I mean, as far as you know, they're just sort of, you know, whirling it around the top. Um, but with cosmeceuticals, I mean, we can make things potent. We can put specific percentages in that will actually have an effect on your skin. Now, as you can see, this lady looks a little apprehensive that we were going to be able to help her, but in the end, the, uh, the end product came out pretty good. We're going to switch pages here. And this is sort of like a sample case, just to give you an idea of some of the most common things that that people complain about and things that we're able to treat. Um, sagging eyelids, wrinkles, fine lines, especially around the eyes, loss of radiance in the skin, crow's feet, large pores, vertical lines, upper lip, dark circles under the eyes, and sagging skin. Okay, these are all things that as we get older, unfortunately, we start getting some of these things. And there are a lot of active components. There, we probably have anywhere from 20 to 30 different active components that we can use to, to help the skin in, the, in these conditions. And I'm just going to talk about four of them right here, okay? Just mention four of them. Uh, DMAE is one. Uh, actually, it has been nicknamed uh, facelift in a jar because it just will tighten the skin. Um, also, it has a firming effect on the skin, if you will. Another... Um, supplement that we use is called lipoic acid, and it's actually an antioxidant. It blocks inflammation, and it also increases radiance. So we'll use a combination of these two depending on the symptoms or what, what a patient is looking to do. Uh, and then we'll also add, believe it or not, vitamin C. Vitamin C will, will decrease inflammation. It increases collagen formation, okay? Um, it's also anti-inflammatory. Um, but one other thing that it does, it also helps with age spots. As does the, the pentapeptides, which are called neuropeptides. Now, some of you may be familiar with uh, <clears throat> Dr. Pericone and the use of the uh, neuropeptides. Extremely expensive on the market, but believe it or not, these items are very inexpensive to have formulated and compounded uh, by a compounding pharmacy and to prescribe for. Uh, and again stimulates uh, the growth of collagen, increases radiance and glow, increases firmness, okay, decreases the appearance of the tiny veins and capillaries in your face that are associated with rosacea. So th this is just an example of some of the things that we can do. I'm going to go to the next page here. <clears throat> just some common examples, too, that people come in with. I just wanted to mention brown spots or or hyperpigmentation of the skin, 
skin, I'm sorry, and there are, are different conditions that will cause this, for example, psoriasis. Uh, acne or rosacea is something that we also treat. And believe it or not, we have a formula for plumper lips as well. Now, you should also think about treating yourself from the inside out, okay? And one of the things that you should, you should consider is, you know, are your hormones, are your menopausal hormones or your sex hormones, are they, are they normal? For example, estrogen, okay, estrogen will improve skin tone, decreases wrinkles, increases skin thickness, and also stimulates the production of collagen and elastin. I mean, these are all important things. So if you are you know, getting older like we all are and your estrogen levels are lower, okay, and again, this is for women, um, you're going to see these effects on your skin. Also, DHEA, which is another, uh, it's another hormone, has some of the similar effects. Prevents wrinkles, aids in healing and burns, okay, prevents dry eyes. Very important things. So are there any questions out there? Ah, there's one right there. Well, you can email me at askdrt at gmail.com or you can go to our website at www.cfhll.com. My name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian and this has been Ask Dr. T.